welcome back guys so this is a video that I've been wanting to do for a very long time almost two years now I'm a little late but that's okay I'm just doing it my way in case you haven't noticed I am using Nisha Vibe Studio you know if you want to check out her channel that is my mom I'll be sure to leave her linked her uh, channel down below but she was kind enough to let me use her studio because there's nowhere to sit when I do my studio I can't afford a chair but that doesn't matter because today I'm going to be unboxing <laughs> the Infinity Gauntlet a friend of mine gave this to me for Christmas and um, I am so excited to open it I've been having it all this time since Christmas Day and I've not opened it yet because I wanted to open it on camera to get a genuine reaction. This will be the first time I've ever done an unboxing. So let's cut the chit chat. Less talking, more unboxing. Let's see. Good old boys. He got this uh, from Vintage Stock and uh, it's actually brand new, which is even better. Okay, let's see here. Man, there it is! Man, this is Thanos' weapon. Look at this thing, man. Wow, this is beautiful. Man, come on now. All the extra packaging and tape. That's the one thing I hate about new stuff. It's like so much, just like, look, look. What is this for? You already got some cardboard underneath right here. What is this extra one for? <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Look at that. Look at the, and it stands up by itself, just like in Thor Ragnarok, the Infinity Gauntlet. Look at this, man. This is a very, very powerful weapon. Man. And they really got it movie accurate. You can see it has a little bit of wear and tear on it. This is beautiful. They got, they, it's really movie accurate. The designs on it, everything. Everything. Fingers articulate, I see. Fingers articulate good. Thumb looks like it locks in place. But one thing I will say is I saw a video that somebody else did. Uh, he was unboxing an Infinity Gauntlet, and his was kind of different than this one. His, you could actually take the stones out, and they actually light up by themselves, and you can pop them in in place. This one don't look like you can do that. I, that's the only thing I wish this could do. I wish. You could actually pull stones out and put them back in. I think that would make it more fun, but this looks good. So let's put it on. It looks like there's a little lever. There's a little lever inside where it can hold, which is smart. All right, let's see here. Oh, it's a little complicated. It's not exactly like a glove. It's a little... There's little slots that you put your fingers in. You gotta just figure out, I guess, which... Oh, okay, there we go. Let's see. Now the trouble is, how do I let go? How do I... I gotta... Where are the directions? Man, give me one second here while I look at these directions. 
Okay, when you make a fist, that locks it in place. Okay, that explains it. Okay, so to unlock it. Oh, okay, I get it. I get it. This is tight, man. When you actually hold this thing and you realize the the power, even though this is fake, this is obviously fake, it still feels like a very powerful weapon. I feel like I can destroy half the universe right now. Wow. I, I'm, I'm not... I. Obviously, I'd have to wear it a little bit more because it actually really is hard to control inside. It's not like a regular glove. You don't just put this on like how you would put a glove on. It's little levers inside that you hold your fingers on and they're a little bit difficult to uh, articulate. Like I've seen people online, they actually snap and stuff like that. I'd have to wear a little bit more. Probably look at the directions a little bit more to fully understand how it works. But. Right now, I'm gonna put the batteries in because we haven't even really scratched the surface yet. And let me see here. I was told that the screw would partially be unscrewed. Now, like I said, I got this on Christmas and I've been wanting to open it, but I really wanted to make this video when I had everything to make it with, which includes batteries. And it actually, believe it or not, took me a long time to find some AA batteries because in this town, it seemed like finding AA batteries, it's like good luck with that. You know, it's harder to find AA batteries than it is to find a girlfriend who's loyal in this town. I remember even when I was little, you have toys and stuff that took AA batteries, Xbox that take batteries and stuff like that. It's like if you need batteries where I live, good luck getting them. <laughs> you would not believe how long it took me and how difficult it was to buy a pack of AA batteries. But I finally got them, so let's put those in. Three AA batteries. When you think about it, it's kind of funny. The most powerful weapon in the universe runs on batteries. Space Stone, Reality, Soul, Power, and Time. And of course, the Mind Stone. This is beyond cool. This is actually the first, I'm gonna, for the rest of the video, I'm gonna talk with the glove on. This is actually the first thing from Marvel that I have ever purposely collected. I've always collected stuff from DC, particularly Batman. If you want to see my Batman collection, I'll leave a link down below. But I've always collected Batman stuff. I want to start collecting Marvel stuff. This is the first thing from Marvel that I've ever gotten. Um, and I got it from a friend, he's a good friend of mine, he gave this to me for Christmas. Um, gonna put this on display in my room. This is. Uh, <sighs> this is beyond cool. Uh, I, I feel like I can just.
If only. If only, man. The Infinity Gauntlet. Guys, this is beyond cool. This, this is so cool. Uh, very, very good gift. I would highly recommend getting it. Now, like I said, I'm, I'm still learning it. The, the finger articulation is kind of difficult to move, and it actually hurts a little bit, too, when you have it in there for so long. My pinky hurts a little bit right now. But uh, it wasn't made for me, was it? It was made for Thanos, <laughs> and his fingers are a lot bigger than mine's are. So, uh, But... I would highly recommend getting this if you're a collector, if you like Marvel or DC stuff and you don't have this in your collection, you should definitely get this because uh, it's great. I will not get the Stark gauntlet though, the nano gauntlet that Tony Stark created. I won't get that just because I didn't really like that in Endgame. Uh, you know, it's new. I, I wasn't a big fan of the Stark gauntlet. Besides, I think Thanos' gauntlet is much more powerful anyway. Um, and it's comic book accurate too. The Stark Gauntlet, they make that up for the movie, but um, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. And I knew it was going to be cool as soon as I opened it, but I didn't think it I, I knew it was going to be cool, but it was even more cooler than I imagined too. But um, yeah, so I'm going to start uh, collecting more Marvel stuff. going to do more unboxing videos, hopefully in the future. The next thing that I want to add to my collection is going to be a Hot Toys version of Thanos himself, actually. And looking online, that was very, very pricey, but not too pricey enough, I think, to get it. So, um, that's gonna be the next thing that I buy. Uh, I, I would like some more stuff, probably Thor's Hammer, Stormbreaker, maybe even an Iron Man helmet or two, but that, that's in the future. Right now, I'll settle for the most powerful weapon in the universe. <laughs> That's so cool. But I'm gonna do y'all a favor. I know everybody's wanting to see this. Um, snap everybody out. If I can. If I can. If I can. I don't know how to do the snap. <laughs> I don't know how to do the snap. I don't know. It's so difficult to move your fingers in this. I don't think I can do it. Oh man. I can't do it. I can't do it. It's, it's very, I gotta learn this more. It's very difficult. I've seen people do it, so I know it can be done. It's hard to do, but I think I'm just gonna let Thanos do it. He's better at it anyway. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, if you like this video, please like. If this, if this is your first time here, please subscribe. Hopefully more, like I said, more unboxing videos in the future, more great videos and stuff like that. But thank you guys for watching so much. And I will see you next time.